Hello, hello, and hello. Welcome back to Evil West. We have the... What's his name? We have the head of Peter Dabano. Oh, Diabano. Or whatever. Home sweet home. It's gonna be a long day. Uh, I haven't seen too much. Mr. Rent here? At ease, boys. My father in his office? He is. Hello, sir. Director Rent here spared no expense to improve their gauntlets. Oh, officially they called it a cholera epidemic, but truth was they were dealing with a terrible outbreak of amateur necromancy. The entire institute was engaged in the hunt. Train fare here cost me an arm and a leg. Sure hope it's worth it. Allow me to convey on behalf of the President of the United States, Benjamin Harrison, my warmest congratulations on reaching your institution's 75th anniversary opening, 50th branch of the Institute, which coincides with the celebration, with co which coincides with the celebration, is a true mark of importance that this fine institution has in our great country. I am more than confident that Director Rentier's visionary leadership will continue to protect our citizens from any supernatural forces. We encounter yours truly, Secretary of War, Stefan Benton Elkins. P.S. We're going to attend the reception together with DC's Rentier Institution Outpost Director, Mr. Edward Jones. I hope. Yeah, I don't think that's important to us right now. From my first year of cadet training, I'm the shortest one of the bunch. Well, the very next year, I grew like a weed. Had to buy all new pants. So, from what I can gather, this is... Mr. Rent here! You remember me? It's in the 1800s, so it's... Also, I saw a remark Director saying... Rentier. It's gotta be sometime, like, after the... Veil of Secrets. Because it mentions California... So this is like well after the the Civil War. Edgar and my father in the Civil War. Right before the bloody Battle of the Wilderness, Central Virginia. His life changed forever during that fight. Highborn nearly killed him. Badly tore up his leg. Edgar carried him in the dead of night across enemy lines to a field hospital, but the surgeon could only do so much. After that, Dad could no longer function in the field. So in this game, is the Civil War something different? Heavy as hell. Where the hell you been? Thought you got bitten by some tick. Some of those fangy fellas were hiding out in Providence. That's why the president ordered the western border secured. Did you hear about those ones that grew tentacles? That's a first. Sir! Grave nurse with you. He sends his regards. He's afraid you'll try and talk him out of retirement again. I don't believe either of us want that. You know he did risk his life to get this for you. That's Harrow's trinket. I'm sure you'll both be rewarded accordingly. Edgar isn't some civilian looking for a medal. This is all he knows. Your institute saw to that. My institute? <sighs> this isn't about Agent Gravener, Jesse. We are on the cusp of great progress. Great change. Today's presentation is of critical importance to the family. After which... Edgar is family. After which... I expect you to step up to your duties here at the manor. With all due respect, Director, I am a field agent, not a paper pusher. You're a rentier! <sighs> Why must you always make me spoon-feed these things to you, Jesse? There are bigger things at work here than running around in caves slaying beasts. I do believe someday soon you will see it my way. And if you don't, it's my responsibility to force that change. Now, leave me be. I must prepare for the presentation. You're a dick. 
and send someone in here to clean up this mess. Uh. Gentlemen, uh, gentlemen, if you'll take your seats. And, uh, <laughs> welcome. Yeah, I'm Assistant Secretary of War, James Harrow. President Cleveland wants you to know how appreciative we are of the vital service the Rentia Institute performs, defending our great country from monsters of all shapes and sizes. He also wanted me to make sure you're not blowing all our money on Mexican Monty. But that's another conversation. <laughs> yes, quite. Well, uh, as I say, keep up the good work. God bless you all, and uh, God bless America. Thank you all for gathering here tonight. It's rare we gather in such numbers, but I believe great progress calls for momentous celebration. Our efforts in the fight against the Sanguisuja's spread have too often been baffled by the creature's most insidious weapon, their so-called glamours. These impenetrable illusions have allowed countless fiends to slip through our grasp for too long. That ends now. Agent Rentier, we've upgraded the standard field agent's gauntlet with something our science bods have affectionately named the Zapper. Not exactly an elegant name, but it does the trick. When triggered, the Zapper sends out an electrical impulse that shatters any nearby Sanguizoon glamours forthwith, eliminating what is not and leaving only what is. Once finished, these new gauntlets will be distributed to cells nationwide post haste, allowing us to sweep our respective territories for glamoured nooks and crannies. This is the beginning of a new age, gentlemen. Armed with this gauntlet, there is no way our enemy can surprise us. I'd consider this a surprise. Oh god. He's attacking you. Oh! Oh, I need to time it. Oh, that is cool. That's really cool. <laughs> Zapper pull. Working pull to be smart. What? Oh, this thing is cool. Other zapper tricks? What is that? Oh god. Oh, that is much easier than trying to shoot him down. I would be looking for money, but I don't think... Jess, thank 
Christ, where's my father? Still kicking ass, last time I saw him. Old fool thinks he's still in the field. Listen, he wants us to destroy the archives before these assholes get their hands on it. You get to it, and I'll find Harrow's pampered ass. Meet me out front. Never thought I'd have to blow up my own house. Granted, this is the only thing he knows. <sighs> I ain't moving. Must be missing something. <laughs> Zapper Dash? Christ, what a massacre. Okay, now at this point, why have a gun? That could have gone better. I thought I saw something else. Doesn't matter. Uh... He let the Brits take him captive. Would love to have seen the surprise on their faces when he incinerated those tick nests and saved their royal asses. The history within this game is weird. Okay, so we're going this way. Okay, and that did- oh! Now to find my father. So by archives, did he mean like the other vampire heads? Oh, now what? Oh, hello. What the fuck are you? Real? What are you, Boo Hag? Oh, what the fuck is this? Get him out of here. I got this. Shit. 
Don't be cross with me, Father. I couldn't leave you at the mercy of these savages. You not do that, you fleshy toad! You nearly hit him. Whoa! What did she do to you? Stop blabbing, you're gonna be fine. I know what I'm doing. This is the key, Jesse. Don't let it out of your sight. It's all we've got. It's in your hands now. We need to stop! Stop? We need to get the fuck out of here! We need to find a defensive position to hold us over till morning. Then we head to Calico. blow this defensive position over with a wet fart. We need the higher ground. And that's where the sun will hit first. I'll get the horses and we'll stand our ground up there. Shotgun? Good question. Ow. Ow. Oh, and he can get the shield back? Are you kidding me? Oh. <sighs> Leecher. San San to transport their transport over the Empiric elixir and giant eel, giant leeches. <laughs> These massive invertebrates keep the quality and purity of the blood intact. To grow such large leeches, they must fatten up their victims and then use them as blood banks. Occasionally, the leeches uh, leave fluids mixed with the blood of their victims, creating a creature called a leecher. It's massive, and though not technically a vampire, it still does. It, it does possess superhuman strength and agility. This thing had agility?
Oh god. Oh god, this is cool! Out of lightning? Good thing we still got a big shiny ace up our sleeve. Jesus fucking Christ. I don't think he's breathing. Calico, it's around the corner. There's a doctor there. Doc, we need help. Lewis, protocol Epsilon. Sit down and roll up your sleeve. We will save your father, Mr. Rentier. Cell's engineer. Virgil. Virgil only. It's an honor to finally meet you in the flesh. Uh, sir, your gauntlet is a thing of beauty. Only a genius could... I need that fixed. Yesterday. I'll need a bigger lab if I'm gonna solve the mysteries of time travel, sir. I mean... Oh my god. How are we doing? Arrow needs a scapegoat. He won't leave without someone to blame for that fiasco. Pissed off little highborn looking for her maker's head? No one could have predicted that. I don't think she did all that for just Abano. We're missing something. I bet my last buck we'll heal more from this Felicity tick pretty soon. I'm gonna check if Amelia needs some backup with Harrow. Who do I have to bend over this bar and indiscreetly fuck to get some coffee around here? Oh my god! See you in the briefing room. Who does he think he is? The heir to the fucking crowd! According to the protocols, if the director is unable to fulfill his duties, his next of kin takes... And DC agreed to that? When I got your goddamn gilded invitation, I expected champagne and canapes! Instead, some fang fuck broke into your headquarters and slapped you all around like a gaggle of whimpering sissies! Now, the entire country is left unprotected, while I stand here with my dick in my hand like an idiot! So again, could someone please tell me how the fuck did this happen? Security services were redirected to protect our most valuable asset. And how the fuck wasn't that me? That was my father's call, and it was Agent Gravener's quick thinking that saved your life, sir. For all the fucking good it'll do once I tell the capital that its primary defense against all kinds of monsters just collapsed. We'll take care of it, sir. What, from here? This place is a shithole at the edge of fucking nowhere. And don't be fooled by our humble trapping, Secretary Harrow. Calico Cell has the highest survival rate in the Institute, as well as its very best engineer. We are your only chance of turning this around. Then I expect a report on those tick assholes on my desk first thing, Doctor. And who the fuck are you? I, uh, uh, um... <sighs> Wait a minute. I'm the best engineer? You better be. 
because we need this thing operational as soon as possible before Harrow comes back to string us all up. Harrow can suck my... How bad is it? Well, the glamour disruptor's fried. Then we have the insulation around the power coupling. Can you fix it or not? It's doable, but I'll need time. A few weeks, a month tops. Mm, we ain't got that long. We have to be ready to take down this Felicity character when we find her. You mean if we find them? We have no idea where to even look. Not necessarily. To the north, there's a canyon surrounding the main trail. And the unimaginative locals call it the Devil's Pass. Now reports mention possibly unknown vampiric specimens. We chalked it down to hearsay, but now we sent our top sanguisuge expert to investigate. I hope by expert you mean a field agent and not another bookworm. Scott Bloom co-wrote the Institute's sanguisuge best. We need soldiers, not pencil pushers. I can't run around looking for a missing egghead hoping that maybe he brings something to the table. When did he last report? Five days ago. Now let's just hope he's lost in research. And with that, I'm going to end this episode here. And so, thank you guys so much for watching, and like always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.